Hello and welcome everyone, I am Ducky O'Brien and today I'll be going over a game called Lumber Hill. Lumber Hill kind of reminds me of a game called Tools Up, where it's very similar, but anyways, before we get into it, Lumber Hill was developed by 2BigO and ARP Games, it was published by All In Games, and it was released onto the PC on June 13, 2021, with the current MSRP of $14.99. It says it will be released onto the Switch soon, so this is basically like a 4 player co-op party game. You're cutting down trees and you're herding sheep. Now I'm playing on keyboard, it's kind of hard on keyboard, I highly recommend using a controller. So you can join people playing, if you want you can play solo, it's completely doable solo, all of uh, these levels. I'm gonna go for a 3 star run plus not feeling any tasks. And I did that for tools up, I'm gonna do for this game. Alright, so if you look here we have 3 stars, uh, basically you reach those by scoring a certain amount of points and then they usually give you one extra task uh, that you can't fail to get that extra axe. All right, we're gonna go. You move around with the arrow keys, you interact with the F key, and then you drop items with the E key, and then you jump with spacebar, and you run with shift. It's very simple. Okay. I'm gonna start the game. And I'll give you a goal. It says we need to cut one birch. All right, so birch is over there. Okay, drop the axe, I'm gonna grab the birch. You can fall off the map by the way. Now it wants me to get two regular trees, okay. And do that. Now you can throw items which make it infinitely easier. The game is trolling you by... <laughs> it will try to kill you in the goofiest way possible. So trees respawn, and if you're standing on top of a tree, you'll go flying into space. Okay. Alright, so we need four sheep. The easiest way is to just herd them instead of grabbing them. So you can grab it. Alright, let's go sheep. No, 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 not that way, not that way. Alright, you know what? Don't care. <laughs> You're coming with me. If you notice that if you put an item in, you get more time, uh, you should use that to your advantage. Kind of take a look at what's going to go down first, so the birch is going to go. You're going to want to do that first before you do the sheep, otherwise you're not going to get it in time. So that's all about time management, and I really like that about this game. It's very simple. Just run the sheep in. I mean the goat. So the game does get harder and it kind of introduces challenges in a very interesting way. Alright. Now I am going to go for 3 star runs solo with the uh, objective. I'm going to post those on my channel as I finish them. You see? <laughs> The tree respawn and then they uh they went flying. Alright. Okay. Okay. sheep. Excellent! We got the three stars. There was no objective this... I think there was no objective this level. Let's see. Now you can move around. 
This, this part's really silly when you're playing with your friends or just strangers. Just pulling everything. <laughs> it takes a picture. Okay, so I'm gonna play a few more of these levels. And you guys should get an idea what the game is like. In multiplayer, it's actually... I would say it's harder in multiplayer. It does scale, so the more people you have, the more objectives you kind of need to do. Okay. So now you have bridges. Can wait to herd four sheep. Alright. Alright, fellas. Okay. Need a goat. Four sheep again. Tease. Sean the sheep? <laughs> Anyone? No? Okay. Now, if you do fall off, you will just respawn, but keep in mind, it's not the most pleasant thing in the world. I think those trees might go uh, catapulting to the sky when they respawn. Now, if it rains, the thunder may cause fires, and then you have wells with water around you, and you gotta use it put the fires out. So it does get more hectic. Oh, I didn't see what the additional objective was. I am not paying attention. I'm running on low sleep once again. I, I underslept somehow. <laughs> so like three hours. And I woke up and my brain was like, yeah, it just uh, seems normal. And I was like, why? Why do you do this to me, brain? Okay. So, for multiplayer, there's a lot of things you can do, like... You can have people throw trees and sheep over bridges and etc. to, you know, get it going. No, we're, we're going. Go. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, fellas. That's a lot of sheep, by the way. No sheep, Sherlock? Ha ha ha. Ah. <laughs> Alright, that was a lame pun, but, uh, you know. What can I say? The game is designed so that it kind of uh, fails on purpose. You're like, oh ho, I guess it fell off now. <laughs> you know, kind of like designed in intentionally to troll you a little bit. And uh, when you swing your axe, you actually hurt your teammates and cause them to drop items and etc. And uh, it's unintentionally hilarious. Okay. They're both worth 50 points, so it don't matter what I do first. Let me see if I can get it in time. Oh, that didn't count though. Okay. Just 
throw that. What I think of you. Oh. Oh, don't pick up any animals? Oh no! That was the additional objective. Huh? It's okay, we still have our... Axe there. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. Play a few more and call it there. You. Stay alive throughout the whole level. And I was like, wow, would I need that? Can you die? And then I fell off immediately. Okay. Ah. So as you can see, there are bridges. You can jump across them if you want, or you can throw logs and then it'll complete the bridges. So, let me see. Uh, what, that didn't count? I try not to fall off in this level. If I can. Oh, Geronimo. Okay, I gotta be careful here. The game is so derpy. I personally love it. <laughs> Yeah, the only thing that made me sad though is that I could not get all the achievements. Oh, 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 no. oh, that was close. All the achievements and tools up because you need to get three stars in um, like the time levels, and that's really hard to do by yourself. Like, super hard. Where are you, where are you going? All right. Where is my axe? Uh oh. I thought I had a birch cut already. Cool, fellas. Okay. The ram will, uh... Is that a ram? Whatever that is will kind of charge you if it gets angry, so watch out. I don't know if you could hear me furiously clicking on my keyboard right now in a futile attempt to not die <laughs> and do everything. Okay. I died so many times the first time playing this level. Wasn't even funny. Okay, it was a little bit funny, but. Let's go, guys. One more sheep. Oh, okay. We did it.
<laughs> All right, we'll do this one. So I play these in multiplayer and it's actually much harder when you have two people and I think it's doable with four, although depending on how well you guys work together. All right, I'll do this one, call it here. No player can enter water. I remember this one. All right. As you can see, there are no bridges to build. It's all jumping. Okay. <laughs> the ram is gonna hit me, so I gotta be careful. Oh, that's the animal. Oh my god, and I fell off. There we go. Okay, so in this one, it helps if you have someone throwing the sheep over. And in this one, you can put the logs in the river and it'll flow down to that area. So it's kind of neat, although sometimes it does get flung off the map. Excuse me, sir. Okay, so we need three sheep. And you can either just throw them. But since I'm doing it myself, I have to carry them anyways. That is the well with the uh, water if you ever need to put a fire out. So this game may look hard, but you're only really ever managing two things, two tasks at a time, so it's completely doable. I <laughs> just flung him. I don't quite have the throwing angles down where I can just toss it into that sawmill or whatever that is. Touch it? Not. I don't think so. Otherwise, the axe icon will be blurred out. I think.
Will I be able to do the sheep in 17 seconds? Okay, not bad, not bad. I almost fell off there. I really like this game. <laughs> it's not gonna be for everyone. I'm like tools up, you know, not for everyone. But I love that game. These games aren't the hardest. They might look difficult, but honestly, should be an easy three star. You know, after a couple of runs. Also, these guys don't have eyeballs, noses, or mouths. It's just eyebrows. Call them eyebrows. But yeah, so this is the current world, uh, forest. Before that, uh, once you unlock stars, you get cosmetics. You get animals here for the axes. And then you can change worlds, so... Let me exit real quick to show you guys. So as you can see, there are different worlds. Progression based based on the stars, so it's very similar to Tools Up. But yeah, very refined. I, I'm not sure if they're made by the same developer though. Um, I have to go back and check. But yeah, there you have it folks, the game is Lumber Hill. Uh, it does have online multiplayer. If you want to play with your friends or strangers like you can look in the right hand corner right there uh i joined a pub game and it depends on the host but sometimes it's laggy because i think it connects you to players worldwide there you have it developed by two big o arp games and published by all in games out now for the pc the msrp of 14.99 i didn't i did not mean to press that <laughs> and uh should be coming to the switch so yeah I'm gonna release the three-star objective videos as fast as possible. I'm not gonna go for a high score because I'm not that crazy. I am getting old. <laughs> I can't compete with the crazy people. But anyways, there you have it folks. Hopefully you enjoyed what you saw and hopefully it gave you guys an idea what the game is like. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You know, I love making guides, so if you guys need help on anything, please feel free to let me know as well. It doesn't have to be just this game, any game, or anything in particular. Like, uh, let me know, I'll make a guide on it. Alright, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there, and I will catch you guys next time. Just check out my eyebrows. <laughs>